When will electricity be the way to go? Hybrids have been in the marketplace since 1997, and electric vehicles, while seemingly new to some, date back to the 1890s and possibly earlier. So why aren't these technologies selling? Hybrids, hybrids are, are coming up slowly. We see the, the penetration growing in full hybrids very slowly. Milds were there and then they disappeared. Electric vehicles, we keep saying about 2% by 2025, and it really hasn't changed. There are a lot of reasons for that. Cost, range anxiety, and cheap gas among them. The industry may have to take a step back offer a little less hybridization for the next decade in order to lay the foundation for broader acceptance of hybrids and pure electrics. Many of today's cars shut off the engine when stopped at a light. This is called a 12-volt stop-start. Consumers feel underwhelmed when pulling away from the light. Delphi's newest car uses a 48-volt mild hybrid system to give you 25% more torque to overcome the sluggishness of a 12-volt stop-start. Think of it like an electric turbocharger. 48 volt mild hybrids use a little battery to capture energy when you brake and then reapply that energy when you step on the gas. 48 volt mild hybrids will serve as a logical bridge from 12 volt stop start to full hybrids. Bypassing this key step would be too costly and time consuming. So they have Europe 12 volt stop start diesels. They're on the road today. To take that and convert it over to a 48 volt mild hybrid, they can package it in the same vehicle, the same powertrain system that they have designed today. So they're not tearing apart their vehicle design, they're not tearing apart their manufacturing world, right? They're just basically adding a few more components in. If they decide to take that same vehicle from a 12 volt stop start to a full hybrid, they have to totally redesign the powertrain. There's still an internal combustion engine, but it's much smaller. They have to either transition their engine plant to make large motors, or they have to find a supplier capable of making these large motors, which means they've now idled some of their manufacturing capability for that engine, right? So, so that's not good because they have all these sunk costs and it takes them a lot longer to get there.